And trust me, when I say that they are soft, because somehow in the past, we let the narrative from the other side overpowered us. And it led to our demise in 2015. In 2015, they were controlling the narrative. They used social media to distort everything that this party stood for. They even denigrated and changed our track record of progress. They spoke about corruption as a massive campaign tool. And we did not do enough in 2015 to fight back against that narrative. And it led to our demise. So today, when we fight the naysayers, many people think, oh, we're intolerant of criticism. We're not intolerant of criticism. We don't hate NGOs. We are just fighting to defend our records. And we are not political eunuchs. We will fight tooth and nail every single day to speak about the record and the achievements of this party. And if we don't do it, if all of you who are here don't set up a Facebook page or an Instagram page or something else and join that fight, they will succeed again. They will succeed because they have some in the media who support this narrative. They want us to stay quiet so they can distort our track record again. Not again, it's not going to happen. And I want all of you here today to commit to join in that fight. We have two battles to fight against the racism. We have to fight it to the nail and point out which is the racist party in Guyana and which is the party that's working for all the people of our country. 